Hey brothers and sisters, it's Jared. I want to share a video with you that really highlights the spiritual battle that we are engaging in on a daily basis as it manifests itself more and more in these last days. Now I'll leave the article linked in the description below. The headline reads, Creepy Eastern European Version of Santa, Krampus, Actually Hits People with Sticks. The article goes on to read, While most of the world is gearing up for Christmas celebrations with the usual fairy lights, tinsel, and elves, some Eastern European countries are celebrating a very different beast during the holidays, Santa's terrifying counterpart, Krampus. In Austria, thousands of people gathered in Hallebrunn over the weekend as hundreds of performers dressed as Krampus, a horned devilish creature, half goat, half demon, took to the streets. Their costumes are as realistic as can be, often made of real sheep or goat skins, spine-chilling wooden masks featuring rotted teeth with large cowbells dangling from the waist. In German folklore, Krampus is an evil monster who abducts naughty children, carries them off with a basket on his back, and beats them with a bundle of sticks. He is the son of hell, a, the Nordic god of the underworld. As frightening as they are, Krampus celebrations are becoming increasingly popular beyond Austria and Germany, notably in the Czech Republic. And the impersonators take their jobs very seriously. Many intimidate onlookers and sometimes hit them with broomsticks as they march through the streets. Last year, a Krampus festival in Austria got out of hand when five people sustained injuries as a result of getting beaten with sticks. So we can see the fruit of this and you can obviously see what is going on with it. It is of the satanic principalities. It is glorifying the rulers of darkness. We're told in Ephesians 6 verses 12 and 13, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against the spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in that evil day, and having done all to stand. Now, these people who are taking part in this ritual, they are not our enemies. It is the prince of the power of the air, the devil who is deceiving the entire world. He is our enemy, and we must stand against this in the full armor of God. These people are deceived, and there is a spirit operating in them. In Ephesians 2, we're told, And you hath he quickened, who are dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in times past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. We once walked in this way. Those who have been born again, we have now been quickened by the Holy Spirit. We can now see these lies for what they are, but there are still many who are deceived. So we must engage in this spiritual warfare. We must preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is a time for us to stand up and proclaim the truth of the risen Lord Jesus Christ, the only one who can save men from their sins. For those who are in Christ, these are exciting times. The bride says, come. God bless you all and be well in the Lord.